you like it when I take you to school or mom? Well, it must be you. Up in the morning, then I I had to pull up on the block. Mostly me? Why? You like to tell me how to get to school and I let you and what mom doesn't? That's why I'm cool. Right? So I just got to the gym, uh, about to go in here and see what everybody's doing, see how the workout's going, uh, get geared up for my workout, and uh, stay tuned because I've got a uh, great tip on uh, why your weekends might be killing your diet, uh, especially for those of you guys that are looking to lose a little weight. How's the workout? Awful. Awful? But good. What do you think? It's awesome. <laughs> What's wrong? <It> sucks. <laughs> well, I did tell you guys that I was going to give you guys some tips, especially for those of you guys that are trying to lose weight and aren't uh, having good success or you're frustrated. I gotcha. So one of the most common things that I see is people that are wanting to lose weight and they kind of fluctuate up and down. They're up and down with their weight. Uh, on Friday, they're they're at a great weight, and then I'm back on Monday. They're um, you know they're back up, and they're frustrated. And they're like, oh, this isn't working. Um, and I'm gonna show you how and why the weekends are killing your diet. Let's just use an example person here uh, at a really common number. So let's say the person's calorie goal per day, uh, Monday through Sunday, is 2,000 calories. So if our goal is at 2,000 calories every single day. Um, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 2,000 calories. Let's assume that someone is going to try and hit that every single day. That would be a total of 14,000 calories per week. Now what I've also done is I've given a scenario that I see a lot. Um, so let's say you're Monday, you're great, you're 2,000 calories, Tuesday, 2,000 calories, Wednesday, 2,000 calories, Thursday, 2,000 calories, and then the weekend starts. Friday. You go out to eat, have some dinner, have some drinks with some friends, and you're eating 600 more calories than you're supposed to. And this is just a, like, a, like an estimate, but let's say 600. Um, and then Saturday happens. Uh, let's say you have 2,800 calories, eat out a couple times. Kids are busy and you're running all over the place. Uh, and then back to Sunday, uh, it's a little more calm maybe, uh, but you're still eating out or you're still you know, uh, not really being diligent. Um, so you end up with a uh, surplus of 1,900 extra calories between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that you're not supposed to have. All right, if you use the 1,900 calories from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the extra calories that we ate, and you divide it out by seven days per week, you end up with 272 extra calories per day. Now, if you add that 272 calories per day to each day of the week, instead of it being 2,000, now we're eating 2,272 calories. If you're someone that's wanting to lose weight, you need to create a deficit. So that means that you need to burn more calories than you eat. Now we always suggest that you try to burn 500 more calories than you take in. So if we're using the original idea of 2,000 calories per day, then we need to burn 2,500 calories. But since we had the, the bad eating on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we had to divide it by seven, we ended up with these 272 extra calories every single day for seven days. So now if we take our original goal of having a 500 calorie deficit, and then we take the 272 extra calories, it leaves us with 228 for our deficit now. So what that's basically gonna end you with is just a little bit of weight loss, but you're gonna constantly see it go up and down. So a lot of times the scenario goes like this. You weigh in on Monday and you're up, maybe Tuesday you're down just a little bit, Wednesday you're back to your original weight, Thursday, you're maybe down a half a pound or a pound, and Friday, you're like, all right, I'm killing it, and then the weekend comes again, and you get into this process where you're repeating it over and over and over again. And that's basically what happens, is you get stuck in this, this up and down uh, groove, and you don't see results. So if you've ever experienced that, or you're someone that does experience it, the key to it is really to stick to those original calories. Now that doesn't mean that you can't have a cheat day from time to time but you can't let a cheat day be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It just can't happen. You gotta stick to the numbers, guys. If you really wanna be serious about losing weight, that doesn't mean that you can't have a bad meal from time to time, but it can't be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That just is not going to be successful for you. So my advice is to stick to the numbers, but pick one day 
throughout the week to have a cheat meal and just kind of have fun with it. But I would say that if you know, if you can plan what day it's gonna be, maybe let's say it's on a Saturday evening, you got a date with your boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, whatever, then you go out and do something that, uh, that morning. Maybe you go for a run or you do something a little extra just so that you can have a little bit more peace of mind and maybe that bad meal doesn't completely destroy your diet. But whatever you do, stick to your guns, find a deficit and get out and get moving. Well guys, that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been a long day, ready to go home, get some sleep, do it all over again tomorrow. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you liked it. And if you got any questions, I'll leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered for you. Until next time, I'll check you guys later.